and this is Studio 7 on DTube, an R West video production. And today I'd like to talk to you about a World War II movie. But you may notice, fans of my channel, that I am not wearing my military hat because this movie is not quite Navy. Matter of fact, it's not even close to being a war movie except for that it's set during World War II. Today's movie, on the other hand, does star a pair of interesting individuals and a quaint little story that's good for the entire family, oddly enough, called Father Goose. Now, Father Goose is a 1964 production with Cary Grant and Leslie Caron. Cary Grant is a codgerty old son of a bitch who's trying to escape the world while it's trying to blow itself up. And in the process of escaping the world on his little boat in the Solomon Islands during World War II, he ends up on an island as a coast watcher. Now that is about all I'm going to give you for the plot, other than Leslie Caron and a young group of schoolgirls show up to make his life miserable. And from there on, it is just one heck of a fun story. There is no way around it. It's wonderful. Now, it wasn't filmed in the South Pacific. Actually, it was filmed in Costa Rica, which at the time was pretty interesting because Costa Rica is not exactly the nicest, safest place to be, so the set had to be guarded almost the whole time they were down there filming the movie. Now, the movie stars basically two very important people in Cary, Cary Grant and Leslie Caron, and it has about eight or nine what you might call childhood actresses in it, none of which go on to a future in stage and screen of any notoriety whatsoever, but all of them get notoriety for being in this picture. I will mention that Trevor Howard is in this movie, and for those of you who've been following some of the British war movies that I mentioned, Trevor Howard has been around for a long, long time, and he's really good at what he does. And he's only in this movie here and there, but here and there is enough. The story is wonderful. It's directed by Ralph Nelson, and it's produced by Robert Author. How about teaching those kids the facts of life? Why don't you feel you're up on the subject? I wouldn't exactly call them backwards. Not the way they were watching during lunch. Watching what? It worked! Of course it worked! Now, what were they watching during lunch? They were watching us. Watching us what? Watching us watch each other. So we watched each other, so what? Well, they're not blind, you know. What do they think watching is, a proposal of marriage? Who ever said anything about... Just because a man puts on socks and comes to lunch? If you think I'd want to get involved with an undisciplined, self-indulgent escapist like you... Well, that's better than being a frustrated spinster who can't find a husband. Anyway, it has a wonderful script with cinematography by Charles Lang, who's been around for a long time in the, um, in the film industry. Now, there's no singing in this movie. There's just good old-fashioned banter, camaraderie, romp comedy, and a card or old fart in Cary Grant that's worth seeing almost every time. Father Goose is not a 7 out of 7 movie, though. It's not a seven out of seven movie because it's just what you expect it to be from the beginning to the end. And that itself will keep you laughing. It will definitely keep you entertained. I like the movie, but I want to be an honest reviewer because I want you to come back and I want to tell you that this, this is, this is a six out of seven production. For Studio 7, this has been my review of Father Goose. Thank you very much for our West video. Have a nice day.